TYT reporter Jordan Chardon was at a Donald Trump rally, and he spoke to a supporter of his, and he asked for one policy reason to actually be in favor of Trump. And the fail level on this is off the charts. You've actually been around the Midwest, apparently, for Donald Trump. This isn't your first event. Uh, what's your favorite policy of his? Um, I really don't have a favorite policy, but I really like Donald Trump because he is a U.S. citizen and he is an entrepreneur, and what he says is what he's going to do. You, uh, you led with he's a U.S. citizen, so I, I'm assuming that means you think the current president isn't a U.S. citizen? Um, you know what? No comment on that. Okay. Oh, it's just kind of an odd to lead with that, but I'll let that go. Um, now, you said uh, you think he's going to, you know, kind of get things done and this and that because, I guess, because of his business record? Yes, definitely. Um, you know, he's built many hotels, and what he says is he's going to do it, and he gets the right people, the correct people, and I don't know about you, but I've been into his Miami golf course, which was very beautiful, classy, elegant, amazing um, and also the Donald Trump in Chicago building. And it's just amazing what he can build and the structure and who he hires to just make such an uh, incredible building. But there's got to be at least like one policy of his that kind of drew you in. Um, I, I think, I would hope. Because uh, he gets criticized that he's not specific about what he's going to do. Well, if he's not specific on what he wants to do, it's you're a businessman and you don't give away your ideas because you don't want other people to take your ideas. But you're and trying to convince people to vote for you to become president, so don't you need to give them something to go on? Yes, I think he does pretty good. What he says is what he's going to do, and I trust him 100%. I don't have a problem. Okay. So, third time to charm? No policy? Just, just Trump? Just Trump. You know what comes to mind as I watch this? The arguments that have been coming from right-wing talk radio for decades now, where they say, you know, the problem is it's the damn liberals who always make emotional decisions. They're not, they don't care about the harsh truths of the world, and they're always bleeding heart liberal. Oh, my feelings point me in this direction, so I gotta be in favor of this because of my feelings. This is the arguments that they make. No. It ain't us. <laughs> it's you. That was the clearest example ever of, I don't know, Donald Trump makes me feel good. I like him because he's strong. I have zero policy reason to support him, but I'm going to be in favor of him because he evokes emotions in me. That's why I like him. It ain't us that don't care about the harsh truths of the world. Of course we do. That's the whole point of being a liberal. For the... Uh, for the right, and specifically for authoritarians on the right. Oh, it's all about that primitive part of your brain that's like, I must find leader. Oh, leader there. Ooh, strong person. I, I support because str strength, business stuff. Ob Obama is an American. None of that, at no point, <laughs> to steal from, what is it, uh, Billy Madison? <laughs> In your incoherent ramblings, were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? So, uh, she, my favorite dodge was probably, you don't, you don't give away your ideas. So why are you voting for him? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, he has, he said nothing to try to draw people in. Well, you, he wouldn't want to give away your ideas. So then how do you know that you should be voting for him if he hasn't given away any of his ideas and policies? Well, it's, it's an admission. I, I got nothing. He even said at the end, Jordan was like, so no policy, just Trump. Just Trump. And look, I don't want to be too hard just on her because it's not just her. I think it's probably most of the people in the Trump movement. It's just this thing, this feeling they have, the strong man. I'll make America great again, man. That's what it comes down to. But what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's just words. It's, it's vague talk. It's generalities. And then when you actually try to get him to give policy specifics, he's out. And oftentimes what Trump does, he'll contradict himself. You know, whether it's on foreign policy, I don't know, stay out of Syria, let Vladimir Putin uh, fight him. I'm fine with that. And then the next day it's, oh, we need to bomb ISIS, bomb them to oblivion. And while we're at it, let's attack the families of ISIS too. 
When it, you look at uh, economics, half the time he's like, well, yeah, free trade is a problem. Free, uh, we need to bring American jobs back here and make corporations do it. And then the other half the time he's giving standard right-wing talking points about cutting corporate taxes and, you know, uh, doing the plans that they've been doing since fucking Reagan. Okay, which is it? it, it it's not about, it's never been about policies with him. And, uh, of course, the one thing that even vaguely resembles policy, but not really, that, that she gave, that you've heard from other people uh, who support Trump is business. Yeah, business record, something, business. Okay. He's gone bankrupt. His companies have gone bankrupt four times. I've gone bankrupt zero times. By at least one metric, I'm a better businessman than Donald Trump. Vote for me. And also, the dude was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Even if you take his own words, he says he, quote, only got a small million dollar loan from his dad. You know what? There's a lot of smart people out there who could do a lot with that million dollars, and they could do a hell of a lot better than what Donald Trump did. Did you know if he had invested his money in the market in a certain way, he would have made more money just off of what he was given. And for the record, he didn't just take a million dollars. That's what he got when his dad was alive. When his dad died, he got much more. So his dad was worth over $200 million. This idea of like, oh, self-made man. He's the opposite of a self-made man. What a joke this is. And if I was given uh, over a $100 million head start, you know what I would do? Not go bankrupt four times. So again, business genius, my ass cheeks. He's not. He's just not. So, there you have it. The same people who argue that the liberals make emotional decisions and their bleeding hearts lead them in the wrong direction and they don't care about the harsh truths. Nonsense. On the far right, you have people who are genuine authoritarians. They're looking for their leader. They're looking for their strong man. They can't wait to shut off their mind and follow whatever their guy says. And when somebody actually gets pressed on it by a real reporter, credit to Jordan there for doing his job, it, it's all a facade. There's nothing there. It crumbles. It's about feelings and emotions and eh, he's strong and business and stuff. Now go talk to a Bernie Sanders supporter and see the trillion reasons why they support him. They're not going to, let's see, uh, Medicare for all. I'm in favor of that. I love the idea of raising the minimum wage to a living wage, $15 per hour. Um... Uh, I love the idea that it, he's been against every single trade deal uh, since it started, and Hillary has been for many of them. Uh, I love the idea of getting out of the Middle East and letting uh, the other Muslim nations take care of ISIS. And we can give some logistical support to the Kurds or, or whoever, but uh, I like the idea of largely staying out. We've been in there this whole time, and it's only made it worse. I like the idea of having a political revolution and getting money out of politics, as Bernie Sanders talks about all the time. You ask Bernie Sanders a question on one thing involving policy, he'll give you an answer on five things involving policy, and all of his followers like him because of the policy. Nobody's going, you know that really old-looking Jewish dude? I like him because I like the way he looks. Just, just Sanders. No, they say, here's my laundry list of reasons to support him. That's the difference between the far left, far left, which is not even really far left in America, it's just being a normal person, and the far right in America, and there's a lot there.